Hi, my name is Clement Hanami, Vice President of Exhibitions at the Japanese American National Museum. We're here today sitting in the gallery of the exhibition Under a Mushroom Cloud, Hiroshima, Nagasaki, and the Atomic Bomb. I am sitting here next to a small and fragile origami crane that was actually folded by Sadako Sasaki. Since the 1950s, the crane has been linked with the struggle of Sadako. She was only two years old when the atomic bomb was dropped on Hiroshima. And it wouldn't be until 10 years later that she would be diagnosed with leukemia as a result of her exposure to radiation. When she was in the hospital, a friend had reminded her that cranes would bring her good luck and that if she folded a thousand of them, she would have a wish granted. And so she began to fold cranes in earnest. Paper was very hard to get at that time. And so it was more of a precious commodity. And so because of that, in order to reach a thousand, Sadaka would cut the paper into very small pieces so she could fold more cranes. And that is why the cranes are always so small. Um, sadly, though she was able to fold more than a thousand cranes, she would eventually die in October 1955. A monument has been erected for her in Hiroshima Peace Park at the Peace Memorial Museum. And if you go there today, you will see that it is permanently embellished with garlands of cranes sent from children throughout the world. And they are constantly replaced as a reminder of Sadako and her wish to live. This crane was donated in May of 2016 by Masahiro Sasaki, a family member of the Sasaki family. And they donated it to the Japanese American National Museum for us to display whenever possible, because it is their hope that by sharing the story of Sadako, that we, that we may live in a world free from nuclear weapons.